Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another video and today we got another 10 Car Tuesday episode and this one I'm really actually excited to bring you. Uh, this We're going to go over Johnny Lightning Firebirds. Um, you are looking at a loose car, so there are going to be some bonus cars in this one. There's going to be a little bit more than 10, but had to include these just to go over kind of the plethora of Johnny Lightning Firebird castings that there are. All right, so this is one of them, and this is not one of our 10 Car Tuesday. This is the original Johnny Lightning Firebird casting that has come out. Uh, this is a 1969 Pontiac Firebird. The copyright date on this is, I believe, what is it, a 1996 or 95? 96, I think, playing Mantis. Uh, kind of goofy. This is from that era of Johnny Lightning that I'm not a huge fan of, where the cars look a little a little weird. Um, and they're not that detailed. They got plastic tires and all that all that jazz, but it uh, does have an opening hood. But there is your 69 uh, Pontiac Firebird. So I just wanted to take a quick peek at that before we jump into the others. Uh, so the other ones that we're going to actually open up today, here is the 67 Pontiac Firebird. Uh, this one... Uh, we got a copyright date of 2009, so it's not that old. This is a learning curve era. And these are the cheaper looking Johnny Lightnings. They have plastic bases and they have plastic tires. And here is this casting. Looks pretty cool though. Um, I like the color uh, quite a bit. I think the color looks great. Uh, wheels and tires look okay. They are plastic, plastic base, but it does have a metal body. It does have quite a bit of detail. That hood just wants to come open. We'll take a quick look at that. Ooh, that's kind of scary how far that thing popped up. Um, not a whole lot of detail in there as far as like tampoed engine parts or anything like that. Hood shut okay. That's good news. And it looks pretty good. So. There is one version of that casting, and then I've got another one. So this is car number two of our 10 car Tuesday that we're going to open up. Here is another uh, 68. This one is a 68 Pontiac Firebird. So they also did this a lot. So they have 67, 68. Uh, they're all going to be the same tooling. Uh, there is probably some slight variations for different trims uh, that this car was available in. Uh, this one, by the way, is from uh, 2001 is the copyright date. This one comes with a little card, 1968 Pontiac Firebird 400. Uh, we're not going to get probably in too, de too much detail as far as what the differences might be. Um, looks pretty much the same to me as far as the tooling goes. I don't think there's any slight variation in the tooling on this one. Uh, maybe those lights down at the bottom are a difference in model year because uh, you got the markers out here um, that could be of course this one's got 400 tampon on there so this one has a metal body a metal base we're still having plastic tires here red line wheels uh, the hood does open and we get more detail in the engine bay than you did on the other one uh, hood's not as scary to open and shut either you got the uh, like vinyl top it's a little bit different and overall though they're pretty much the same uh, both of them look pretty nice and so there's car number one and two and then number three in the last variation of this particular tooling we've got this from the muscle car gold collection uh, this is limited to one of 5,000 pieces. It's in a resealable clamshell package that is super yellowed and faded and gross looking. Uh, these came out, looking for a date, 2007. So, oh man, that package just kind of crumbled up apart. Um, so it does come in an acrylic case, 1967 Pontiac Firebird 400. So it's premium treatment, a mirror based case. Let me go ahead and open that up. Very similar to some of the Ertl Vintage American Muscle uh, packaging. Uh, so here it is. Uh, we got some weird stuff going on on the paint right here on the hood. Hopefully that will be a buff out. Um, this one does have some detail on the base as well and again with some some grossness going on down there. 
This package probably sat out in the sun. Uh, it was probably at many a car show, whatever. I think I got this at I.O. I got it at a car show, uh, cheap, and because the packaging was probably so gross. But the uh, car inside, hopefully, so far is okay. And I'm scared to open up this hood any more than that because I feel like it might break. Uh, but it's got a lot more detail even still than this one did. Uh, of course, we got the rubber tires on this one. We got the detail on the base that the other one did not have. Um, other than that, it's detailed around like you would expect. Um, so I guess the challenge is going to be to see, and you can kind of see that right there. If I hit that up with a little bit of polish and a microfiber cloth, I am wondering if I will be able to smooth that out or if I should probably not even bother and leave it because I'll probably do more damage than good. And that's hard to say. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to leave it and forget about it. But there it is. So there is car number one, two, and three of this special Firebird Spectacular 10 Car Tuesday. All right, so that was your 67. Uh, then we got a this one right here. This is the 1969 Pontiac Firebird Convertible. Um, this is Mike Brill's 1969 Pontiac Convertible in the classic gold series. There's the real car. Here is the replica. Uh, this one is copyrighted. Uh, I never put them in the front of the legal stuff. This one's 2006 is the copyright date on this one. Um, it is fairly detailed. It is metal body, metal base. Overall looks pretty good. Got somewhat of a detailed bit in the interior. There's your metal base. Oh, this one actually has plastic tires. I thought they were rubber at first. And then um, it's got some detail in there under the hood. The hood shuts really nice on this model. It's an all right looking tooling. Not my favorite Firebird tooling but I think it does look pretty good. So there is car number three, and then car number four is gonna be the same tooling here. Firebird convertible. I'll open this one up. This one is a 13 Customs piece, so the paint job is a little wild on it. Same construction though, metal body, metal base, plastic tires. This copyright date on this one is 2007 you wanted to try to find it. Um, here's the little card it came with. So if you want to read that you can go ahead and pause it. So they did some customizing to this one. Um, interior looks basically the same though and let's see if we can open up that hood. There it is. You got some detail under the hood. And all in all it looks okay. Again, not my fave, but uh, pretty decent. All right, so there is those two. And then next up we got, this is a real basic casting. This is the 1971 Pontiac Firebird. Um, I don't know, I think they've labeled it as 71, a 72. Um, this is, they're real basic though. Uh, it's an older packaging, playing Mantis era, but this one is copyright date. 1999 so this would have been like from the same kind of time you would have seen this guy um so we'll take a look at it here this one's got very yellowed packaging it is just a basic gold paint looks like it held up okay so that's good news and here is this one so what i mean by basic i mean okay so you got a metal body you got a metal base it's got plastic tires um it has no opening features so the hood does not open it does have a fair amount of detail which is okay so this one is a very basic cast and i've got one more example of it here so this would be car number seven and uh, 1971 Pontiac Fiber. This copyright date on the back of this one is also 1999. It's got that same packaging. Very, very yellowed um, package. And then here it is. That is an odd color. It almost looks like it used to be black. It's really like a dark green metal flake. I think it looks pretty cool. 
definitely an odd color. So like a dark green, like metal flake. It's like almost black, but it is green. At least it looks green under this lighting. Um, and gold. That's actually kind of cool. I, I like that color. I like colors when they're kind of slightly difficult to describe. Um, so there is these two. So these are very, very basic ones. There isn't a whole ton of these uh, variations of this particular one out, uh, this particular tooling out. Uh, there's a lot more of this version of like the 71 of this era Trans Am, which here's just one example for you. This one is actually a white lightning. It's got a white base, RC2 area, 1971 Pontiac Firebird formula. Uh, so they have the Firebird formula. They have the Trans Am version. They have different hood variations in this casting. This casting goes a little bit more in depth. Uh, with a variation type. So this is a bonus car here. Uh, they've got ones with plastic tires, one with rubber tires. This is probably one of their best uh, Trans Am castings. And uh, we're not gonna, I don't have one to open because all mine are already loose. So we're not gonna look at an open one here, but here's just a quick example of one. And it looks pretty good. Lots of different variations in that one. Um, and then, so moving on, we've got this here. So this is, Fire Engine Firebird, acting Captain Brad Thompson. This is in the Beat the Heat series, 2012 edition. This is a Tomy era Johnny Lightning, um, so 2012. But this is that other tooling. So this is like your 1980, well, I think it was 1977 Trans Am because they had different front toolings um, all the way up to 1980, what would it be, 1980, 1980, I think it was just 1980. Keep back 1,320 feet. That's a very specific number. Uh, Gainesville Fire Rescue, stop, drop, and roll. This one's got a blown motor in the front. It is made after a real car that was owned by a real person. Uh, it's got plastic tires. It's got a wonky one in the front here that it is fixable, by the way. Um, probably shouldn't spend time on here but the way that Johnny Lightning wheels are constructed if you know anything about Johnny Lightning is they got kind of like a hubcap thing going on in their plastic tires but this one is kind of neat the one thing I don't like about these ones is the spoiler on these is always always looks a little funky uh, first glance you don't really notice it but it always has like some sort of minor issue that's that's very common with this casting as you can see you can see right through the back like that there always is some sort of weird um, thing going on with the way that that's put on um, but there it is fire engine Gainesville fire rescue and then one that I've had for a long time and I've definitely been excited to open is this 1980 uh, Firebird Trans Am right here uh, this one's actually got rubber tires and stuff it looks very premium um, this is from the Johnny Lightning Firebird series, uh, release three. This one is copyright date of, it's an RC2 era, it's copyright date 2005. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up that one. I'm so excited to get open. Take a look at all this. It's an option sheet to the car. This one's scary because it's packaged with the hood open. And that's always a crapshoot as to whether or not it's probably going to go down properly. Uh, it's almost down proper. It doesn't look too bad. But here is the car. I love the wheels. The wheels and tires on this one look great. Um, the color, this cherry red, looks really good. The, uh, the hood tampo looks really good. Uh, then again, if you look really close, you see what I'm talking about with that wing. looks a little wonky. looks a little weird. And that's just normal for this Johnny Light in casting. So it's not perfect. It's not a perfect tooling of this. Auto World definitely still is the best um, Johnny Lightning. So Firebirds release. Uh, I'm guessing these are your different oh, spray colors to apparently get the uh, the vehicle the right color. It's an interesting little feature there. Nothing on the back side of the car. Um, <clears throat> Hood doesn't close quite perfect, but with a little bit of finagling, I probably can get it to close flat. There is that. All in all, a pretty cool piece. Um, definitely probably my favorite of this 10 car Tuesday. We still have one to take a look at. 
Uh, but I do like this casting. So there's a lot of different variations of this casting too, as you can tell. There's the one without a hood. Um, there is the 77 front grill variation with the, you know, more of a cat eye look. Um, or bird eye look, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, the Smoking the Bandit original Trans Am look, so... But very, very cool. Very, very cool piece. We'll have to do something about getting that hood hood down. But there it is. All right, so there's that one. And then next up is this one here, the 1985 Pontiac Firebird. I actually really like this casting. This might be my favorite of the Johnny Lightning um, toolings for a Firebird is this uh, 80s one. I think it looks really good. Um, now, it's not like to scale like the green light one is, but as far as the, the deco and the way that they got this car to look, I almost like it better than the green light version of this, green light tooling of this uh, era car. Uh, this copyright date, by the way, is 19, 2010. 2010. Uh, I think it is Learning Curve, actually. Yep, Learning Curve brands. All right, so. I really like this one. This one is a basic one, so it's got a plastic base. It's got plastic tires, but the detail is fantastic on it. The rear detail is good. Uh, the defogger in the back windscreen is awesome. Um, a burn on the on the hood there. I I like this this tooling a lot. Um, I have a few variations of it. I'm not. I don't have all of them, but I'm getting closer uh, to having all of them. This one also does have an opening hood. And there it is. I just really enjoy it. I really like this tooling from Johnny Lighting for this Firebird. I just think it looks fantastic. So you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. But that is car number 10 for 10 Car Tuesday. The only other um, tooling of a Firebird that I know of or Trans Am that I know of is this one right here, which is the 90s Trans Am, the 1999 Pontiac Firebird. This I could take or leave. I'm not a huge fan of this car. I don't like the way that these cars looked. Uh, I was never a big fan of them. I always thought they looked a little goofy. And um, this one does have an opening hood, though. This was in a recent release of Johnny Lightning. It looks okay. As you can see, the copyright date is 2000 Playing Mantis. So that's it probably debuted around 2001. And there it is. So it looks okay. Definitely this one's my fave, though. Uh, my fav favorite tooling. My favorite, I think, of the 10 Car Tuesday is probably still this one. These two are the best. Uh, even though this hood is not quite the way I would want it. And neither is the tail bit, but this one had the most potential for sure. But really like the way this casting is put together. All right, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching a long 10 Car Tuesday episode. And I appreciate it. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you liking, commenting, subscribing, all that great stuff. And have yourself a great day.